Yo, what's up? It's your old buddy, Rusty Russell. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Set to Autofocus. I'm your host, Rusty Russell, and today we're diving deep into the Tamron 20mm full frame E mount lens. In this review, I'll break down the features, the performance, and whether this lens is worth your hard earned money. I've had the pleasure of using this lens, and throughout this review, I'll share my, well, for less of better words, real life experiences and thoughts on it. Keep in mind, I'm not one of those guys that do the whole pixel peeping thing and go way out and, I don't know, this way in the left field on something. I'm what you see is what you get kind of guy. In my reviews, it's directly that. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm your guy. If you're wanting to know some real use feedback on what I have found about this lens, then you're definitely in the right place. All right, let's get started. This lens is a prime lens. What does that mean? Well, you probably all know, but there could be a couple people out there that don't know. So a prime lens is a lens that has a fixed focal length of 20 millimeters in this situation. However, designed primarily for the full frame Sony E mount cameras, you could also use it on a APS-C body of Sony's. And if you're using it on a full frame in the APS-C mode, no matter how you use it, as long as you're in the APS-C mode, this focal length becomes 30 millimeters due to the 1.5 times crop factor. The Tamron 20 millimeter F2.8 DI3 OSD M12 is a well-made lens exclusively for Sony's full frame E mount system. It's also probably the most budget friendly, great weather protection included in this lens that I think is out on the market right now. Because of this, the term OSD in the naming of this Tamron 20 millimeter lens means optimized silent drive and refers to the autofocus motor. This autofocus motor, completely silent. I had some great opportunities to get this out into the hunting deer blind. And I used it as a vlog. And I'll tell you what, had no problems with any type of clarity, no low light issues. It was snappy, it was auto focusing right on. It was exactly what you would expect for the money. And the money, that's the most amazing part. This is under 250 bucks. When this first came out, if I remember right, this was around $400. But now, as of the time of filming this in October of 2023, Amazon is selling this for 249 bucks. Brand new! So again, it's silent, quick, and accurate. It's a solid prime lens, especially considering it's ultra wide angle view. And again, under $250. Like where do you get that in a full frame Sony lens, right? Cause as of today, I didn't even know that that was until I looked, I couldn't believe that. You have the ability to get a hold of something that's amazing. I really think this is way underpriced, but who am I to say that? If they're having some crazy sale, that's on them, not on me. Low light photography, yeah. Amazing. It's got 10 elements and nine groups offering a generous 94.5 degree angle of view. It's powered by seven diaphragm blades. The minimum aperture is F22. And you get as close as 4.3 inches to your subject with a minimal focus distance of 0.11M. The maximum magnification ratio is 0.5 times, all packed into a lightweight 220 gram body with a 67 millimeter size right there, right there for you. The control on this lens, even with the manual focus right there it's got a nice ring on it you know me I love the rings and the function of this as usual set on the camera body it's amazing I mean if, if you don't have a Sony camera I don't know why you're messing around because the ability to have such amazing partnerships with a company like Tamron working with Sony in the E mount system I'm telling you the autofocus capabilities you can do are amazing and if anybody wants to prove me wrong send me something I'll check it out but I still have today this much if I have my hands on different cameras, have found anything else that says, wow, was this lens right here by Tamron. I'm telling you, this thing can right there. It just snaps right onto your eye without a problem. Continuing on, it is electronic in operation and utterly smooth. I mean smooth. It's action for the overall most part, just like slicing butter with a warm knife. However, what's the best part of this Tamron 20 millimeter lens? You might be asking yourself, wow, I've heard a lot of great things. Well, let's go back to where I was just a few moments ago in this conversation. At the point of the time of this review, which is the middle of October, 2023, it's available for $249 on Amazon, making it a very 
budget-friendly option indeed, without a doubt. Plus, don't forget, it has micro capabilities close to four inches in addition to its wide-angle ability of the lens. It's compact, lightweight, and versatile. It's only 220 grams, that's it. Speaking of versatility, the Tamron 20 millimeter doesn't disappoint in the image quality department at all. Even wide open at f2.8, it delivers a sharp, detailed, minimal distortion, minimal chromatic aberration photos. This did some great job on getting me some neat photos. Compared to other prime lenses that I've reviewed through the years, in the 18 to 20 millimeter range, Yep, this one would probably kick their you know what. This 20 millimeter Tamron holds its own against all of them, without a doubt, in terms of sharpness, over and above. It rivals some of the pricier options I've even done reviews on recently, while providing exceptional background blur and bokeh was pretty good too. Thanks to its short focusing distance, there are no particular crutches or vices or anything that I saw with this lens at all when using the lens and it really is a pleasure to have such a compact lightweight light optic at a time when lenses are becoming so big right they're becoming so fast in terms of maximum aperture but ever larger and heavier as a consequence in the size of the lens and what you're getting not real easy on the arms when you're trying to vlog this is an amazing vlog lens. Now let's talk about the pros. Here's what stood out to me. It has a great ability of metal weather mounting right there. Nice, I like it, it's weather sealed, has excellent sharpness without a doubt. I found especially at f5.6, very good center sharpness and wide open when that was taking place. Beautiful background blur and color rendition, ultra close focusing distance for that 1.2 magnification. Remember, 4.3 inches away, you can basically do max with this. Ideal for any type of video, um, even on a gimbal. I had this on the ZVE-1 with a Zhiyun crane, you know, gimbal deal, and I'm walking through the woods, and I got some great footage, and just was really neat how easy this was on a gimbal. But keep in mind, there may be some, like, you know, some issues that those issues being the quality comes out too good when using an onboard vlogger style microphone. That's right. People have said that they had issues with the noise from this motor when you're using an onboard vlogging microphone. I did not have that problem. I tested both with an onboard hot shoe and the lavalier style mics. I did two different types of lavalier mics. I did three different types of onboard hot shoes. Never heard an issue. So don't know if I just got a great lens to review and check out or I was just lucky to get a hold of something like this. But I'm telling you, I had no issues. Again, affordable pricing, 249 bucks. I'll say it again and again and again. You just don't find this kind of lens normally at that price. Ever, ever have I found until today this type of level of a lens under 250 bucks until now from this Tamron 20 millimeter. That's how good it is for under 250 bucks. Moving on to build quality. This lens packs a punch. Despite its small size, it comes with a bayonet fixed. Uh, right here, if you take a look at it, it's plastic, yeah, but it's nice and strong. I mean, there's no issues there. And it has 67 millimeters right in their threads. So for you ND lovers out there that love filters and attached filters with its 67 millimeter threads, plus it's weather sealed, so you can confidently shoot in less than ideal conditions, I could definitely see this being an ideal lens, like myself when I used it for a hunter in a blind, or even an ice fisherman in a shanty, or a snowmobiler running down the trails in the middle of the winter and wanting to have something where they can pull out and have to worry about the weather. Using it for a vlog style and not having to be concerned with the weather issues. This is a great lens for that. In good lighting conditions, the autofocus, snappy, responsive, did well for me. It seamlessly integrates with Sony's focusing functions. Again, it was snappy, snappy, snappy on autofocus without any types of issues. Now, let's circle back to image quality. This lens, I noticed, consistently delivered me, me, sharp images, no matter what, even when shooting wide open. You know, there's a lot of great lenses out there, but there's very few that, to me, I believe that good, true-to-life color reproduction, which this is one of them right here, where it had some really good, true-to-life, right out of the autofocus. Didn't have to do anything, just click the picture and it was done and got a great picture. 
In conclusion, the Tamron 20mm F 2.8 DI3 OSD M12, in my book, it's a winner for under 250 bucks. Well built, fast autofocus, weather sealed, great for me on a, on a gimbal, not a problem, and consistently delivered top notch photos for me. Great image quality. If you're in the market for a wide angle lens for your Sony E mount camera and your budget is definitely under 250 bucks, then I would wholeheartedly, without a doubt, recommend that you pick up this lens. No questions. This is a good one for under 250 bucks. By the way, that price is as time of me recording this, which is middle of October 2023. Go down below. I've got some great, great links on Bearskin Tactical Hoodies. New 3.0 just came out. PGY Tech Accessories. Vanguard Tripods Bags. They're down there too. Can even get the ability to enjoy a couple months free on me through Artlist using some codes in the description down below. So your support means the world to me, and I would greatly appreciate it. If you can help this old guy right here with a like, a subscribe, put a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.